This week, it's the five most common questions I'm asked about Todoist. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to answer the five most common questions I am asked about Todoist. Now these questions come to me either through DMing me on Twitter or Facebook or email or indeed in the show notes below these videos. So I thought I would put together a one episode that answers the five most common questions I'm asked but I am also decided that I would add one additional one because I'm always asked those questions too. So it's actually six of the most common questions I'm asked about Todoist. So before I go into Todoist and start answering these questions, what I would like to say is if you learn something new in this episode and you find it really useful, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Okay, let's go into Todoist right now and I'll start answering the six most common questions I'm asked about Todoist. Okay, first up, how do I create a sub-project? Well, there are actually two ways of doing this. The first way to do it is to actually go into the project itself right here in the left sidebar and you can hit uh, the three ellipses or the three dots at the right hand side of the project and click add project below <clears throat> and then you'll see here that you've got some uh, tab features so you can just click on one and what you can do is you can type in uh, let's say launch and add the project now when you click on project X what you'll see is the sub project comes up here so that's one way that you can do it alternatively what you can do which I actually prefer to be honest because it keeps things nice and tight is to create what I call an a non-completable task so we put the asterisk because I'm old school there is another way of doing this in the way I'll show you in a moment uh, now I like to bold this so I'm going to put that in bold I'm going to talk launch and I do like to capitalize it because then it will stand out that much better so when I hit the return now I have launch and then I can put in something like uh, finalize launch day and if I hit command and forward arrow that's going to bring that in and now I have this underneath my launch here now the problem I've noticed is this is not coming up as I would like it is coming up I should say you get this drop down arrow right there uh, and then that way you can close that when you're working on the main project itself so the two ways of doing that is you can create a project underneath and just indent it one stop which is here uh, and the second way is to create the non-completable task now I did just say that I would where have I gone uh, I would just say that uh, I was going to do it the, uh, show you another way of doing this uh, if you wanted to add a task uh, I can do another way of doing this would be just to go um, let's say launch two because of my imagination is not there and then just type in the colon and hit return and you get the same effect you get the same um, non-completable task you can choose whichever way you want to do it yourself so there you go that's how to create sub projects in Todoist right next one up I've got how do I email tasks into my inbox well okay all you have to do is go to your inbox now there's nothing here as you can see you can't get a three dots on the left hand sidebar what you have to do is go into the action project actions right here and you will say email task to this project you hit that and that's going to give you an email link which you can click on here to copy to clipboard and there you have now I've always recommended that you don't do this for individual projects you can do it for individual projects but when you start adding more emails for your Evernote account you're going to have emails going all over the place it's much safer much better to have it just going into your inbox and then you can process it later it doesn't take very long just to drag and drop the task into the correct project 
but it saves you a lot of confusion later. So to get your email address, you click on the three ellipses or the ellipses, the three dots, and it says email task this project. Click on that and it will give you the project email address. You just copy that to your clipboard and bang, you're good to go. How do I share a project with another person? Now, this one is a great one because Okay, I've got a, a, a kind of a serious looking project right here. But actually what most people like to do is, particularly if you're using Todoist like I do as a personal to-do list manager, then what you may want to do is share a shopping list with a person that you actually work with. So what I can do is I can actually click on share options here and I can invite somebody. So I'm going to put my, uh, let's try my calpoline.com and let's see if I invite that person oh there we go I can invite that person actually this is me um, so basically what will happen is now I will get he will get an email I will get an email um, so if I can just take you into my let's just go into to do this um, this might come up in my yes it does it comes up in my notifications right here uh, if I click on accept which I've just done okay and then go back into this you'll see yeah, okay. Uh, this person has now accepted. And let's have a look. <laughs> it gets very confusing now. So there we go. This hang on. So what you see now is down here, Project X has now changed to having this icon here, the side of an icon of a person. So that's really cool because now this project is shared with that person. You also get an indication up here that the option has been shared. There's two people and you will get a notification that I have joined project x so there we go that's how you share with other people can it get any easier than that okay how do i set my own karma points target okay this one's quite easy actually you go into your karma points up here and you can see they're all here uh this is my demo account so it doesn't actually work very well so you can check it there now what you do is you go into your settings right here and we go into karma down here and you can change this. So this is my demo account. So I have a daily goal of 15 tasks each day. And for those of you who are curious about this, um, that includes my routine tasks as well as my main tasks. And you can set yourself a weekly goal here. Now, again, you want to be quite realistic. I've set 25, but you may want to set 35. That's five tasks a day. Whatever you want to do, all you do is click on edit right there and you can change that number as often as you like. Days off, here's an interesting one. If you really are keeping track of your karma points, you can actually select which days that you don't want to do is to count your karma points. So it will take a break. So here, uh, my days off on in my demo account is Saturday and Sunday. I think in my main account, I don't have any days off because sadly, I'm one of those people who works all the time. So there you go, that's how you change your karma points, but set them realistically, but they do want to be challenging so that you will actually uh, have something to achieve from that. Okay, let's go back. What do I, How do I select n multiple tasks? That's actually quite easy and a lot of people do find this confusing. What you need to do is you take your mouse and you click add it to the, you hit the shift and on the grab handle. So shift and then tap. And you can go down individually like this if you wish, or you can uh, just go down to the bottom one like that and click on there. Oops, I need to get that one as well. So let's click on that. Oh, we're in a real mess now. So let's just, by the way, if you've done what I've just done there, we selected them in a different order, so now it's a bit confused. What you do is you just hit the cross button up there, takes everything away, and then we can go down shift on that and shift click on that, and now you select multiple. You can go into schedule. I can reschedule these for whenever I want them to be. I can move to a different project if I wish. I can reset the priority, and I can do so much more. I can even mass duplicate them all. Uh, sorry, mass delete them. I could mass archive them. I can mass add a label or mass remove a label. There's so much you can do when you do the shift click. And because I love giving you guys bonuses because I know it can really help. One of the great things is, is how do I reorganize this? Now, at the moment, there's only like three or four tasks in there. There's what, uh, six tasks in there. But what you can do, as long as you're in the project view, and this only works in the project view, if I tap P right now, Look what happens, it actually changes the order. If I click undo there, 
So as you can see, I've got a blue label, a, P2, a P3, and then I've got P2s, and I've got all sorts of things. And if I put this one down as a P1, for example, right here, if I do that as a P1, okay, so we've got randomly selected, uh, randomly assigned or allocated flags here. All I have to do from this project view window is tap the P and it will organize them by priority order. But that's not all. If I want it, so I don't really want to see them by priority order because that's really for my today view. Well, all I have to, I want to do this by uh, date order. So as you can see, looking down the right hand side, and you can't see me doing this, but I just noticed that I'm pointing at my screen. Oh dear, really sorry. You can't see me do that. Anyway, if you go down from Tuesday, tomorrow, and then Monday, you can see that's a random set of orders. If I hit the S key, look what happens. Sure enough, I actually get... Uh, the all done in date order. So P will give me the pro the priority order and S will give me the date order. So that's your bonus tip or your bonus uh, trick that you can do in Todoist. That's reordering your tasks. Okay, hopefully you found this episode interesting. Don't forget, if you've learned anything from that, if you can really help me in return by clicking that like button and subscribing to my channel, that would be so much appreciated. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.